Okay, this works. All right. So I've come with a message of friendship. But first, we have to define what an L2 is. No, not really, because this is going to cause a lot of fights here. So we're not going to do that. But the blockchain and crypto landscape has changed very significantly in the last decade. Like those of us who were here then, we've seen that, you know, we've only had Bitcoin back then. And it was really easy to, you know, think about a single application, think about, okay, and transferring money. That's all I can do. And now we have a lot of other things we can do. So, but I have to reveal something. And most of you have not seen me in real life for the last few years. And that's because I've spent a lot of time in the future, 2024. And I've seen how the future looks like, and it looks like this. Like, this is amazing. This is how the future looks like. And that's because we know how to work together next year. And let me show you what I've seen and how we actually manage to interoperate and create a wonderful world. So this is Alice. And Alice wants to be the best on-chain player. And she's a big fan of Dark Forest. But she just started out and she only has a hundred power level but she really wants to be the best one. So she wants to conquer a planet in dark forest that is, has a thousand power level. So in order to do that, she has to acquire more power. She has to acquire more planets. And all of this sits on dark forest that runs on Nozis chain. So let's see how she does that. So first of all, she finds a marketplace on scroll. You know, scroll is ZKEVM. So you can run any marketplace, any DEX you want on it. So that's useful. And she finds a marketplace that has a, power, a planet with a power level of 100. So that's good. But in 2024, these marketplaces have some KYC procedures in place. So she first has to prove that she can use that marketplace. So she uses Sysmo in order to show what is our GitHub activity. And she uses Persona Labs in order to show that she has a Nouns DAO NFT. And more than that, she uses Ezekiel, which is a ZKML platform, to show that the risk model that runs on the combination of her GitHub activity and her Nouns DAO NFT gives us a really good score and she's very low risk. So she gets immediately approved in this marketplace. That's good. But, you know, Squirrel is an L2. So wh what can I actually do with it? I need to run to, to get this planet to Ethereum, first of all. Um, and actually, Alice's money also exists in Ethereum as well. Like she has ETH. So she uses Herodotus, which runs storage proof, to show that she has enough ETH to actually participate in this trade. Okay, that's good. And then she uses Axiom to get back from scroll to ETH itself. That's nice. So she now got a power level of 300. That's not enough, though. And she remembers that now that you know, Aztec last year, 2023, they launched Aztec 3, where you can do any programmable privacy application. And she remembers she had participated in this kind of NFT raffle that gave her some NFTs from time to time. And it's done privately because Aztec is all about privacy. But Aztec requires you maybe to maintain some private data. So you need to get your notes and you need to maintain some full node client in order to spend your, your money privately or to participate in private applications. And she didn't do that. She, she didn't think she would actually participate in it, but she saw that 
these NFTs are redeemable for Dark Forest Planets, so now she has to. But she doesn't want to wait for a year to sync. So that's why she would want to use something like Bliss, which allows you to use private information retrieval to get your private data in a manner that doesn't expose it to a centralized server that manages it for you. So that's good. And now she uses Maiden um, in order to um, in order to use their super efficient DEX because it runs a very specific um, a very specific um, DKVM that allows you to run this kind of thing. And more than that, she uses the shared sequencer that Espresso Systems has deployed a year before to do these things in a quick and atomic manner. Okay, that's great. So she has now, and she now has a 400 power level. She now wants to continue and get to a thousand. So she saw that there is a competition to write the best blockchain fantasy story. But these competitions are really, really known for the like first manipulations. People always lie. They try to bribe all of the judges. So they had to use something like Macy, which allows you to create a collusion resistant voting system in order to, to vote for stories and win it in a corruptionless manner. She won the competition, luckily, and she now has a power level of 900. And for the final piece, she saw that in Cartridge, there is currently a quest. And Cartridge is a gaming platform that allows you to define things like quests. So there is a quest to win a planet. And the quest is part of a risk zero enabled billiard game that runs an actual physics engine that is written in Rust and you could just compile it to risk zero. She participated in the, in the billiard game. She does all the physics in her head. She wins and she now has a power level of 1100 and she is able to conquer the planet. But all of her money is now on ETH. So she uses the succinct ZK bridge in order to trustlessly transfer all of her planets to Nozis chain. And in this manner, she now has enough planets on Nozis chain in order to conquer her desired planet. And she becomes the best player. And maybe you'll hear about it in a few months if I haven't changed the future by telling you all of this. But we have to remember that all of this involved like tens of transactions. This was super complex. And you could think about, wait, Alice had to click all the time. So no, because she used wallets that use the capsule SDK. And the capsule SDK allows you to program what are the allowed transactions that you, you think are risk-free and approve them automatically backed by the capsule signer itself. So she did that and this actually happened without her intervention. And you can also think about that all of these things, Herodotus, Axiom, Sassin, Macy, these are super complex ZKPs. So it's really lucky that everyone integrated in Gonyama's acceleration, like infrastructure. Uh, so the ZKPs were actually pretty fast, so no, not a problem. And another reason that they were fast is because, you know, everyone already uses Zeta Function Technologies Proto Galaxy that, you know, came out in this timeline like a few days ago, but people already know it really well then. So that works really well. But the cherry on top is that a lot of these networks are actually secured by ZK validators. So you can also trust that everything is really, really secure. So everyone really interoperates and collaborates well in the future. And that was really good to see.
but this is just the start. Uh, yeah, but some things I'm looking forward for, for you to see. And, you know, a lot of ZK composition tooling, that's something that has become very common. A lot of client-side ZK, that's something that has been forgotten for the last few years here. But we see a lot of that, a lot of user-managed data. And we also see some seeds of multi-party computation coming there. Currently, there aren't too many MPC dev tools existing. And you know, there are some also, also some seeds of fully homomorphic encryption getting out there, building complex applications. So this is cool to see. And to wrap it up with some haiku, we work together, we compose and integrate, and the world is improved. And that's it.